Albania has asked to be considered a candidate for accession to the European Union. It's in a process now of gradually adopting European policies and legislation. Um, now, one of the areas which is important for Albania is um, the area of economic and social cohesion. And the EU, in the pre-accession phase, has two main instruments there. The instrument for pre-accession, three and four, is what we're talking about here. As I say, EPA 3 supports regional development, EPA 4 supports human resource development, labour market development. Now, when Albania hopefully soon becomes a candidate country, it will be eligible for EU financial assistance under those two programmes and also under the Rural Development Programme. Over time, EU money will be playing a bigger and bigger role in actually investing in key infrastructure, roads, rail, uh, environment infrastructure, uh, helping the private sector, helping tourism and so on, and then in the human resource area, helping uh, training different target groups, social inclusion, uh, and so on. This course that we have piloted in this particular uh, program um, is designed to support uh, officials in the central ministries who will be involved in uh, relevant policies, programs, and projects related to future EBA 3 and EBA 4 um, and that of course includes regional uh, development. Group of 30 was divided into uh, five groups and each group was recipient to coaching given by our local coaches where we assisted them to learn themselves from materials but especially from their working experience. So the whole thing that was very specific here was to try to get them to become what we would say are thinking performers. In other words, they're thinking and they're learning as they perform in their own job, and they're learning at least as much from their own job as they are from any external uh, guides, books, or even trainers. And what we're trying to do here is to see that the people are given core competencies and including the ability to keep learning and keep learning from each other so that in that will translate into organizational performance. It was really interesting because all the knowledge, all the theory fits to our daily job. And then we have uh, different sessions or participating with a group. We have uh, bilateral sessions. And uh, what is more important and makes the difference, it was that we have a coaching there. Uh, and then uh, we have some assistance. If we have some questions, we have a forum. We find materials in the website. So. It was a kind of process that we participate, uh, we have been supported and uh, it was very linked to our daily job and uh, I think that uh, it was a very good uh, program to support us for uh, a process that has to come in the future. So if I look at this particular program, um, we started with a little bit over 30 people and we are now finishing it with just a little bit under 30. So the fallout rate has been very, very low, very low when you consider that they've done uh, over a six, seven month period, they've done several coachings, some trainings and, and so on. It's been quite demanding of them and they've done a lot of self-study. So I would say their commitment is very high, very high. Um, that's partly to do with the way it was designed, but I'll be honest, it's partly to do with the high level of motivation among the uh, civil servants we're working with. We're just at the very start. It's a low road that's going to last many, many years, even in the pre-accession situation. And of course, it continues after accession. In other words, after accession, uh, Albania, for at least a generation, I would suspect, will receive very large amounts of transfer from the EU to continue to develop its core infrastructure so that it can have a level of economic and social development that begins to approximate to that of the rest of the European Union.